Hey guys, <clears throat> and welcome back to uh, Vampire. When we last left off, uh, we shot a load of werewolves in the face, apparently. We found some more uh, potent darts, I guess. And we found the museum key, that's correct. So we're just about to go back to the museum, which was somewhere here. Uh, oh yeah, hang on. I think it was back up one of these elevated doors, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, at least I hope so. Uh, yeah, so had to cut the last video off pretty quick because Mrs. came back. And uh, by the time we got settled and all the rest of it, we are pretty much out of time anyway. So, no, it wasn't this door, was it? No, was it? What was this one? Can't remember now. No, it's not this one. This is where we found the man in the black uh, outfit. Which is confusing, to say the least. Yeah, pretty sure it was up here. I'm looking forward to trying these new darts out. Um, because the blue ones that we get, let's be 100% honest with each other here. They're pretty useless. Especially considering when you fight those vampires. At minimum, really, you come in contact with three of them. I'm in a really confined space. Even the handgun is pretty lackluster against them. Ah, oh, yeah. Right. Um, hmm. Okay, so we've eaten our food bar. Wait a minute. Where's the door? Uh, yeah, this door, I think. Probably not. Hmm. Nope. This is the right one. So we've got some like roaches on the floor here, like feasting on this dude's ass. Uh, better them than me, I guess. So is this? No, this was the control room, wasn't it? Right. Okay, that was the control room. Uh. Okay. In that case. Oh, okay, so we need to go through the other one, I guess. I'm sure that was a museum. You know, it, the map layout in this game is very confusing. Which, I guess, to be honest, you could say that about the OG Resident Evil games as well. But because, you know, we're so used to those games, kind of pretty much committed to memory. And I think... Think those games is it is it fair to say those games seem to make a lot more sense? Is that fair? I think so. Whereas this game is just really is a really confusing, chaotic mix of of themes and colours. You know, it's a bit strange. Like this theme doesn't seem to fit the horror vibe. And then we had the room of the uh, escalator type things as well. The moving floors. That didn't seem to fit any like horror vibe that I can think of. So, uh, these I'm sure these rooms open outward, don't they? Yeah, these need to be open from the other side. Hmm. But the, that other room, could that have been the museum? Maybe. Maybe. I mean, that makes sense. This looks kind of like a museum showing. Have a look. Yes, cool. Okay, I knew we'd seen it somewhere. Right. So this is the U... yeah, it's like a U-bend room. Don't think we've got any enemies in here. Uh... oh, oh! Misato! Misato! I've been looking for you! English, please. I remember the elevator moving and, and stopping here, and then coming here, 
I'm feeling dizzy. Yeah, she's gonna turn into something blatantly. This is weird. Geld! Uh, uh, hmm? Gals? Who the hell's gals? What the hell's gals? Okay, she's just totally flunked out on us. Hey, we got a drink. Alright, let's neck that bad boy down. Cool, now we're back up to fine. Where does she go? I'm guessing we can now open that door from the other side. Oh, right, okay, control room key, cool. All right, um, so she just freaked out. There's a well done exhibition of moon shapes that look just like the real thing. Okay, cool, I guess. Uh, the vampires are bathed in the moon's rays. They are turning evil, right? So they turn evil when they're bathed by the moon's rays. Oh, right, she's just literally upped and fucked off. Okay, what else do we have here then? Uh, exhibition of the materials related to the moon. Okay, so I don't think we're really going to get anything useful here. No. Right, okay. Let's go. Now, are there going to be bad nicks everywhere again? Probably. Mm, maybe not. So we need to go back down the elevator, up the other elevator now. And into the control room, which I'm guessing we can turn power back on in there, I think. I hope so. Because this is feeling very all over the place at the moment. I'm guessing it's going to be one of those games that it will come together at the end. Because, well, <laughs> I hope so. Because none of the files are really shedding a light on, well, uh, anything, really. Hmm. I haven't saved it for ages. Probably a good thing to do. Let's drop a save here. Checking El Memory Card. In your own time. Thank you. Right, so we're still in. Oh, right, yeah. Fear Moon, Screw Moon. Uh, there's still stuff in Fear Moon, I guess, that we can go and have a look at. I think. I think that makes sense. Right, let's go have a little look over there, shall we? Well, yeah, we must still have some areas because we've still got um, a card key. Unless that's like a red herring or something. Like we don't need it. There's a moon control room key. Okay, cool. Let's have a little gander in here, shall we? Okay. No enemies. Ah, shotgun shells. Yes, please. It looks like ammo stacks in unlimited quantity. Oh, God, there's loads of stuff in here. In uh, huge quantities, which is nice. Be nice if we pick up this package. Ooh. 0.223 bullets for some kind of rifle. Hmm, okay, interesting. And the key to the evil house, yeah. Uh, right, okay. Don't really remember where the evil house was. And a file, sure, let's read the file. Basement research research facilities, hotel area F to B1F. Research staff only, open close instructions, password confirmation, computer verification, use of panel key. Password entry is limited to research staff only. Any reaction to password entry will require user identification. After identification, the computer will verify user. After verification, the person in charge grants use of panel key should the meter behave abnormally it can be due to magnetic reaction uh 
conduct user identification, then find and eliminate the cause of magnetic reaction. After fixing the problem, set the meter to the central position and adjust meter abnormally after adjustment. Resume normal open close operation. Right. Okay. Some kind of meter, but there's no power, so it's not working. It's an odd shaped horizontal panel with a keyhole. Uh Okay, well I mean I guess there's probably nothing we can do there for now. Right, well, let's get out of here. We've got a key. Uh So we go we need to go do three different steps now. We have a magazine. Small caliber magazine. But hey. Takes what we can get. Now, do we want to keep that magazine on us? Uh not sure. Have a look. Might be worth taking some food with us, maybe. Oh, there's only 15 rounds in that mag. Well, we'll dump it out for now. Because we've already got... We've got a lot of weapons on us. We've got three. Like, in Resident Evil terms, that will be a lot. Those mails that we can get from looking at this item console thing seem to be a waste of time as well. Which is a little bit sucky, but hey. Right. So. Ah. Okay, that's interesting because. That room is still red, but it's flashing now. I guess. I guess if it's red, that means it was a locked door that we've now opened. Does that make sense? Uh, maybe, I guess. Right, I want to go back to the main area where we started. And I want to see if we can go check out some of these areas that we've missed. Because I get the feeling that we've now moved on from that area. I don't know if there's backtracking involved. Like, do we need to go back? Uh, pass. I think we came in through there, didn't we? And then when we come back here... Yeah, we can go right round the windy corridor. No. No, we go up and then through the... Yeah, okay. I th yeah. Right, I'm pretty sure I know where the, the evil house thing was. Let's go back. I'm guessing this place is going to be populated... Fucking... All manner of bad necks again. Did we leave anything in here? I don't think so. Mm -mm. No. No, we didn't. Alright. Yeah, not sure whether it's worth gambling money, because... Like, gambling seems to be the only way of making money in this game. Which is weird, but, you know, it is what it is, I suppose. Right, let's have a look here. So, there are some rooms here that we, we potentially go into. In fact, there's still a lot of rooms here. Right, okay, let's have a little look, because, you know, there's always the chance that we've missed weapons and health and all that good stuff. I don't want to lose weapons health and stuff if we don't have to. Right, where are we on the map? Let's have a gander. So we want to go straight down this corridor and out. Yeah, I'm sure that's what that means then. So if they're red and flashing, that means they were locked doors, but you've now unlocked them. Whereas red doors are solid red doors. Are just, you know, uh, we haven't opened them yet. Right. Do we still have that ID card? We don't. Alright, so yeah, we potentially should have done this a very long time ago. Ooh. Gambling machine. I mean, why not, right? 
Oh my god. Yeah, see the potential to like win a shit ton of cash is here. But you know, actually winning a shit oh, a shitload of cash is virtually impossible due to the nature of these machines. I mean, obviously, there's a way of doing it. There will be, like, you know, push the first one at, like, 0 0.7 seconds, the second one at 0 0.6 seconds, you know, that sort of thing. Really? Get nothing for that? Oh. But even if you match up, like, three normal... <laughs> Yeah, even if you get three normal bloody pictures lined up, unless you get the crowns, it is worthless. Absolutely worthless. Oh. Yeah, I don't really see the point in those. They just, there doesn't really seem to be a way of realistically winning. There's more machines there. But all these machines seem the same. Whether some have got higher chances. Ah, it's an elevator, but there's no power, so it's not moving. Ah, really? Ah. Uh. Well, that sucks. Okay, so we can't get into Susie yet. What about... Let's see if we can go into the other one. Well, that's utterly pointless. Right, so let's go down to the left, through the orange, uh, through the yellow door, up through that thin little walkway, and s no, because we don't have a key now. Ah, right, yeah, we don't have a key now. All right, well, uh, I guess we can't do that anyway, unless we've, you know, we've missed an item somewhere, which, uh, I mean, it's possible, but I think it's fairly unlikely, because the items do stand out quite significantly. Yeah, I'm fairly confident we haven't missed anything. Like I say, uh, you know, it, it's absolutely possible, but I don't think so. So maybe we have to come back there later and, I don't know, stuff happens. <laughs> hmm, intriguing. Right, well, let's go. What's our name again? Keith. It's not really a very heroic name, is it? Keith. It's not like Barry or Chris, Jill, um, Claire. They're pretty powerful names. But Keith, eh. Keith doesn't really give you the, the, the hero stuff feeling, does it? But then Billy. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's not like Arnold or Chuck. Chuck. Uh, okay. Right, so I think we need to go up the stairs and around through the weird moving floor elevator doodad. And then, we need to think about our lives and what we've done and what little we've accomplished on our short amount of time on this earth so far. Wait, what? We are playing video games, aren't we? Uh, now, right, yeah, this is looking somewhat good. Ah, didn't we leave a woman in one of these rooms? We did, didn't we? Let's see if we can put her down. Uh, just so we can try these new darts. I want to see how much more powerful, if any, they are. No, in our luck, there's going to be a big, grizzly motherfucker that spawned. That titan luck. Yeah, I'm guessing all this stuff's going to light up at some point. 
because this place was infested with werewolves. But, you know, I guess we're using silver shotgun shells. I don't know. I mean, the enemy designs in this game are okay. You know. Oh, right. She's right by the door. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, they're better, but they're not, I don't know, they might be twice as powerful, I'm not sure. But for me, I don't see the point in having a weapon that's twice as powerful, if you only get half as much of it, you know. Maybe if a weapon was twice the damage, but you only got 60% of the ammo, that would make sense. But if you're only going to get half, is it that much better? Oh, I don't. But it's okay, I guess. It's a thing. How much? How much do we actually have? So we've got ten. So we had. So that took five to bring her down. She didn't get back up. But I don't know whether that was because of the weapon. Uh, or because she was a little bit weaker because the, the health does seem kind of like Resident Evil it seems to be like a little bit randomized oh right yeah oh. It'll only be open from one side so we've got to go all the freaking way around because why not game likes wasting gamers time okay I'm running out of ale. My fridge is really far away. I'm actually not kidding. My fridge is really far away. My fridge is actually in a shed. In my courtyard. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, right. Okay. Nope, that was not the map button. Uh, right. So we need to go through. Okay, so it looks like there's actually four doors in this room, or like more doors, I should say. More door. <laughs> uh, but there actually isn't that many doors here. But I mean, you know, we're on max health. So that's cool, right? I'm guessing we're eventually going to be able to see a film. Also, if this is. Right, hit me out. <laughs> If this is a cinema for this big wig who apparently makes legendary horror films, that's quite a small cinema for what you'd think would be a, a pretty big attraction. Say if he did um, world premieres at his own cinema. Uh, but he can only fit like six people in there. Hmm, seems a bit silly. Unless there's multiple theatre rooms, but that doesn't appear to be the case. Right. Yeah. So if we go into this maze, we need to go right round the houses. Why can't I? Thank you. Okay. Bizarre, but sure. Bit of a weird one-way system. Okay. So, now we need to go up, don't we? Yeah, up and to the north. And you know, it's funny, like, going back. I, th I thought it was going to be pretty rough to go back to tank controls. Um, especially, uh, you know, after playing... Uh, Resident Evil with the modernized controls, but I like tank controls actually. I guess that's because I grew up with them uh, If you're not used to them say you're, you're younger and you're getting introduced to tank controls They might be a little bit rough, but to me they, they fit me like a fucking glove honestly Guessing we can't actually run up that way. We can it's just incredibly pointlessly slow uh, okay. Like, what's the point in this? 
Like, why, though? That's my question. Why? I don't know. Maybe I'm... Yeah, so this is the evil house. Uh, let's, I guess we're going to go in with the stun gun. Yeah, it sounds like we're clear. Oh, that looks like a mansion key. The spear key. Are you kidding me? This is blatant Resident Evil riff off here. Like, you can't even deny it. I'm not even saying that because I'm a Resident Evil fanboy. Okay. Looks like a clock, but it has no Resident Evil. Okay. What does this one say? Clock with no hands. Locked. There are two spears. Oh. So we need two spear keys. Okay. Well, we only have one. Clock with no hands. What's that? That anything? No. Uh, that's problematic. And we can't, like, examine it or anything. So we need two. But we only have one. Can we not use the spear key twice? Look, there are two spears carved on the knob. Okay. Fuck. Alright, well. Um. Uh, hmm. Maybe that other door needs a spear key. I mean, I doubt it, but that other locked door is the only lead that we have right now, so. Oh. Because uh, we sure as shit can't get through there. And we can look at the clocks, but we can't interact with them. Ugh, we gotta go through again. Right, let's just double check that there's nothing actually here. In any of these areas. Oh, so we can't go through that one. In here there's nothing. Can't go through that one. Alright. So it looks like the uh, little alcoves. They've blocked one side. They've blocked both sides. Right. Got you. <laughs> yeah. So, spear key. So do we need another spear key? Or do we need a spear key that has a two symbol on it or something? That's the question. Uh... Interesting. All right. Right, okay. Uh, in that case, so we've got to get back out of here. So we can go all the way through there, or we can just go up and around. Yeah, I'm guessing that we have to go back to um, the casino. Because we didn't we get, like, a key to go back to the Logan area? But from what I can remember, there was, wasn't actually anything in the Logan area. Was it Logan or whatever the fuck it was? Um, right. Let's get out of here. Yeah, because that's the only lead that we have right now. I must admit, that moon with the clouds. I actually approve of that. It's quite nice. It's a nice loading screen. Remember when we could say stuff like that? That's a nice loading screen. I must admit, on my PC... Uh, I don't really get loading screens anymore. Uh, now. 
I guess I could generate some. Oh, we're on 30 minutes, guys. See, this game's a fucking time warp, honestly. It really is. Like, you know, I start playing it. We haven't accomplished anything this video either. I start playing it and 30 minutes is just gone. Like that. It's crazy. Okay, so when we come back, guys, I guess I'm... I'm going to have a run around and I'm going to see what we need to do. Um... I'm going to quick save it there because it's the end of a video. Um, yeah, I'm guessing we need another key. The, I mean, the, we only have one door that's locked. Uh, and if that isn't the spear key, then we're destination fucked. And I'm going to have to run around. But it is what it is. That's what these old games are like, especially the Resident Evil clone sort of uh, genre. So, I mean... This game was pretty universally, universally panned, it was, but I'm having my fun with it. I'm really enjoying this game. And I think if I had actually played it back in the day, we would have enjoyed it. Uh, is it up to Resident Evil 1, 2 and 3? <laughs> no. I mean, that's just funny comparing it to those games. But is it good? Yeah, I, I'm enjoying it. So, anyway, thank you very much for watching. As always, see you next time.